Okay, I'm going to show this uh, Amiga A1000 booting up on uh, Workbench uh, 1.3. And uh, here's the keyboard, as shown before, the uh, delete uh, key is uh, broken off. But the, I believe if I pushed on that, the delete, the delete actually works. But the other keys I'll uh, show you here in a second in Shell. I'll just hit some keys and you'll see that it's communicating with the mouse connected in. And uh, again, this is just for the Amiga. A1000, no floppies, just that, the power cord, keyboard, and that's it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the uh, Kickstart 1.3, stick it in, turn it on. I'll show the floppy drive, it will engage here in a second. Chopping away. And let's go ahead and eject. That and put the uh, workbench 132 in. And I believe it's got 512 megabyte of RAM because when workbench comes up it shows it's got 300 and uh, some odd uh, K, so I don't think it's a stock 256K unit. around you can see that the cursor and mouse port work and you'll see that it says 371 728 free memory so I think that means it's got the uh, upgrade uh, memory card in the front I think it must be 512 uh, or something and that's what it comes down to after the OS uh, is loaded so I'll go ahead over here and workbench Open. Shell. Open. Oops. And once the shell comes up, I'll just hit some random keys on the keyboard so you can see it's typing. Backspace, some numbers, return, where's that one? Be a good command, but you can kind of get the picture. So, there you go. Boot it up. Amiga A1000.